to the show. You have a right to be motivated. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me again on yet another episode of You Have a Right to Be Motivated. It's your boy, E to the M to the D to the double E. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity of you watching this today. Today, I'm going to be sharing some seven very fantastic personal favorite quotes that I've shared through the daily inspirational message across social media. And so, if there's any one of them that you love, comment below. If there's any one of them you want to share with friends, just feel free to do that. Welcome and let's go! The poorest person in the world is a person who cannot pay attention. You see, the issue of attention is something that we cannot overemphasize. Paying attention to things that matter to your life, to your future, and to your dreams is very, very important. Never ever get so poor that you cannot pay attention because you don't want to earn regrets rather than taking advantage of the opportunities that you have. It is easier to take advantage of the opportunities by paying attention than to fund regret. So, remember what I just shared with you, the poorest person in the world is a person who cannot pay attention. You have a right to be motivated. This is by an anonymous author. You know who said it. Share with me, I'll give credit. Nothing dies quicker than an idea in a dose mind. You see, ideas are like seeds. They are planted in people's minds. And so when you have a very good idea, you have to be very, very careful of the kind of soil that is mine that you plant your ideas in. Now, this is how it works. You see, ideas have a lifespan. They have a half life. So if you plant your idea in a mind that is dope, and that is full of excuses, you are going to kill that idea. A lot of people will give you a thousand reasons why something is not going to work. But you need to look for people who will give you one reason why it's going to work and they will get out to make it work. So be careful of the mind or the soil that you plant the seeds of your idea in. Because remember the quote, nothing dies quicker than an idea in a dope plant. This is by Oswald Sanders. Eyes that look are common, but eyes that see are rare. Have you heard the statement, of color eyes, no be open eyes? You know what that means? It means that not everyone that looks actually sees. You see, a man without vision is lost even before he begins his journey. So, you have to ask yourself, are your eyes just seeing or you are actually only looking. This is why I say this. You see, you can open your eyes wide and still be unable to identify opportunities around you. So you need to convert your eyes to objects that attract opportunities into your life. Okay? Because eyes that look are common, but eyes that see are rare. And there's nothing worse than being blind, than to have eyes without vision. I take that again. There is nothing worse than being blind, than for a man to have eyes without vision. So the quote by Oswald Sander, eyes that look are common, but eyes that see are rare. I never made money from complaining, but from dealing with frustrations shown at me. Those were the words of strife Masiwa. And for those of you who know him, you would know he's a very great African entrepreneur. So, what does an entrepreneur do? And what, how can you translate that into your life? You see, an entrepreneur finds a challenge or a problem and turns it around by creating solutions. So, if you want to make life worthwhile for yourself, you should just stop complaining. Stop complaining about those things that do not work. In Nigeria and some other parts of the world, there are plenty of things that trouble us but frustrate us. We cannot make money from complaining about them, but we can by dealing with those frustrations around us. So I ask you this, are you complaining 
about your frustration or are you dealing with them? Remember the word of strive masiwa. I do not make money from complaining, but from dealing with the frustration shown at me. Thank you for staying tuned so far and I really want to just appreciate you. Before we come to the close of this program, I want to say that if there's anything that you want to reach me out for, you can always get across to me via the numbers going below. And the numbers you can also reach out to me. Remember the beast that you're watching. That is actually a, is actually a daily inspirational message set. It's accessible by over 50,000 people on the internet. And if you want to join the network, reach out to me on the numbers scrolling on the screen. If you have a motivational content, a youth event, and with a group of people or your business partners that you want to put together and give them the right to motivation, can they just reach out to me? Yeah, the links scrolling on the screen. Thank you for watching and the show continues. Say how he said, your mistakes should be your motivation, not your experience. How beautiful. You see, nobody born of a woman is ever mistake proof or perfect. Nobody, as long as the person was born from a woman. So, all of the mistakes you've made in the past should not stop you from moving forward. They should rather motivate you because you've made so much mistakes and you want to make them make want to, and you want to make life work for you now. You see, you will always find beautiful excuses for not following your dream, but never a good one. So I want you to turn your mess into your mess. Did you get that? I want you to turn your mess, that thing that stinks in your life, those mistakes, your mess should be your message to the world. Because remember the words of saying about your mistakes should be your motivation and not your message. Opportunity happens when preparation gets a chance. So, this is how I see it. You see, an opportunity to succeed is a two-sided coin. There's preparation to one side and there's chance to the other side. So, no matter how big a chance you're given, if you are not prepared, you're going to blow up that opportunity to succeed. And I tell you this, successful people do not think about luck. He was just lucky. He just had the luck. Luck do not exist in the success equation. Preparation exists. Chances exist. And so successful people continuously prepare themselves for chances. And when the chance comes, because they are prepared, it combines together and then what you see is success. And when chance does not happen, what do they do? They make one happen. So remember, opportunities happen when preparation gets a chance. Dan Xiaoping said, I don't care if the cat is black or white, as long as it catches mice. Deep stuff, right? You see, I, I begin to ask this question, like, of what essence are our air-conditioned courtroom when people cannot get justice? Of what benefit does it give us to have beautiful and colorful weddings when people have empty marriages? I mean, of what benefit is it to a country to have 650 ministries, departments and agencies, yet we have no power, no water supply, and an embarrassingly poor quality of education? So, in the scheme of life, what matters to us? The looks of things or the content of those things? I tell you this, we need to start to embrace the power of functionality. Believe me, believe me and believe me. It's not about you guys from my tribe or that guy is my brother. Can he deliver results on the project? So remember the word of Dan Xiaoping. I don't care if your cut is black or white, as long as it can catch mice. Thank you very much for joining me on this particular episode of you have a right to be motivated. Was there one of those quotes that you really love? Was there one that you love to share with your friends? Is there a quote in your head that you want to put out to the world? 
share with me in the comment below. I will help you blast it everywhere. I'm the coach man, you know that. And don't forget to stay in touch with me on social media at JustMD at J U S T E M D W E or contact me via the number scroll below. I'm available for your conferences, your motivational seminars, your training program, your youth development event. I would love to support you. I would love to contribute my quota till I come your way next week. You have the right to be motivated.